Returning to the fracture. The spirit of the founder compel you. Returning to the fracture. Imagine a world where you're no longer sitting in the corner. You're sitting on the throne. What did you do to Landon? He is who he was always meant to be. A fighter. A true man. You see, when your friend, Miss Waterson, had the Founder's statue removed and brought here, the boys discovered something magical hidden inside. Towards the end of his life, Hawthorne foresaw the threat posed by women. So he took precautions in case they strayed too far out of line. A master of the dark arts, he left instructions on how to create an army of young men to take our power back. You're all insane. No, no, not insane, Miss Stone. Simply men. Tired of seeing ourselves falsely accused, our livelihoods threatened, marginalized and belittled, reduced to spectators in our own lives. Upon graduation, our army will venture into courtrooms, boardrooms, and the halls of Congress to set the world right. It was really very simple. A hazing ritual, if you will. We read the incantation inside the bust, and the spirit of Calvin Hawthorne filled the pledges, possessing them with supernatural strength and drive. All we had to do was name the women who had stepped out of line, and these boys took care of the rest. The conscientious objectors like Lindsay? against Professor Gelsen. Women who are willing to be obedient, like your friend here, will be spared. Those of you who refuse to be compliant will face the consequences. <laughs> 